Pesky here, and welcome back to our Wi-Fi battle series, where you guys challenge me to a Wonder Cup battle. Now, in the previous episode, which was our very first Wi-Fi Wonder Cup battle, was against Johnny. Now, if you haven't seen that, I won't spoil the result for you, but it went really, really well. The battle against Johnny was a nice, fun fun battle, which is exactly what I want from this series. It's a series where you guys get to challenge me, I get to give you something back, and we get to tie the Wonder Trade Addictions episodes nicely together by using the Pokemon that I get off the Wonder Trade in a battle, which is it's just something nice to give back to you guys because you support me really well, and um, I really appreciate it. You guys have been really, really kind to me over the, well, over the last seven months, and you've been asking for Wi-Fi battles for a while now, so this series ties in nicely as we all get to join in together. But I just want to say, first of all, thank you very much for the support, the amazing, amazing support that you showed on the very first Wi-Fi wi Wonder Cup battle. It sat like 85 likes in less than a week, which is absolutely insane. So thank you very much for the support. But let's get into today's battle. Today's battle was against Elijah or Time Ruler. Time Ruler actually has a YouTube channel. So if you've got time, go and check that out. Um, because he is pretty good at what he does. But Elijah, as you can see right in front of you, had a much better team than me. If you watch Wednesday's Wonder Tree Addictions video, you will have seen the team that I got, which was, I'm going to say, straight up Ayas. Um, I wasn't exactly pleased with it, but hey, that is the wonder and the joy of the Wonder Trade Addictions videos. The Wonder Trade and the Wonder Cup battle means... Doesn't matter how good you are, sometimes you can get absolutely straight up shit Pokemon. So let's just run through them real quick. First of all, we had ourselves a Scatterbug, Fletchling, Bunnelby, Routes, Eevee, and Scyther. Now, the main Pokemon on our team here was the Routes, because Routes knew Calm Mind and Psychic. So I thought, if, if we get the opportunity to set up and get a couple of Calm Minds up, maybe even just one, then we could maybe sweep up with the Psychic. And Scyther, oh, he didn't actually know any stab moves. He didn't know any bug moves, and he didn't know any flying moves. So that was kind of uh, pretty ass, but as you know, Scyther is pretty damn strong. It had Vacuum Wave, which is pretty good. Unfortunately, he had Swarm instead of Technician, so that was kind of ass, but... It's what you get, it's what you get, but we also, st just normal moves, we had Growl, Leer, that kind of things on the Eevee. Eevee did have adaptability, so Tackle was um, boosted in power, so that was quite nice, but other than that, uh, threats-wise on Elijah's team, if you just go ahead and look straight at it, you will see, pound for pound, measure for measure, his team is a lot better. I mean, you start off with a Molga, a Molga on its own is pretty good, if it has Nuzzle, if it has Static, if it has any of those kind of things, I am pretty much done. Paralysis played a massive part in this battle, as you will see later on, because you've got Pikachu along at the end. Dratini, Dratini obviously is a pretty decent Pokemon, if it's been bred up, it might even have Marvel scale, um... Which, well, it's not Marvel scale where it starts off. What is it? Wonder scale? Some shit like that. It's not quite Marvel scale yet. But if it does have that hidden ability, then that is going to be uh, pretty decent for him. And then you look next. You've got fucking Pidgeot. You've got Bird Jesus just sitting there. And I just, as soon as I saw Bird Jesus there, I was like, holy shit, that is absolutely terrible. We've got, um, <laughs> that's, that, that's it over, that's it over. We've got so many weaknesses to flying in this team, um, that is unbelievable. And just the straight up power of an, a third evolution is, well, a second evolution, it's all, all the way up to the third tier of, um, of the Pokemon's, uh, evolution chart. It's just unbelievable. So we've got Bird Jesus there, nothing more, you don't need to talk more about that. We've got Simus. It's not Simmet, it's a Pan, Pan Sage. Pan Sage next. I hate the little monkey Pokemon, but it'll be good if it's got a stab move on it. That'll be fantastic. Got Fletchling in the team, which is pretty much standard. And you finally got the Pikachu, which I was kind of worried about as well because it's fast. If it has the Light Ball on it, which a lot of them do, and um, that do go over the Wonder Trade, then I was kind of fucked as well. But anyway, let's get on with the battle because that is exactly what we want to be looking at. So here we go. Now, if I remember correctly, I decided to lead with Scatterbug because Scatterbug wasn't going to be able to do much because I think only had Tackle and maybe String Shot. So I thought, let's end up this little guy and see for the scouting purposes. Now, I kind of predicted that Pikachu would be coming out first, so it's either going to have Thundershock, Quick, Tack, or something like that. So it went straight for the Thundershock, which I thought, that's not too bad. Scatterbug should be able to eat that up. And then we'll go for the String Shot. Hopefully, that slows down Pikachu enough for us to get a tackle off first. That was what I was thinking. That is what I was thinking. But it wasn't. Pikachu is still faster than Scatterbug. And then Scatterbug just goes straight for the tackle. And uh, it does absolutely fuck all damage, to be honest. And here we go. Pikachu just takes out... Takes out our Scatterbug, no problem at all. But Scatterbug did its use, and it slowed Pikachu down. So hopefully a faster Pokemon. As we bring in Bunnelby, 
Hopefully Bunnelby will be able to get the move off first, which she does. Goes straight for the tackle, which is stab, as you can know, which is fantastic. And this is the thunder shock. Now this starts to piss me off right now. We get the tackle, which is great, but Pikachu is, is pretty, pretty good. And there you go. There's the static. As I said before, paralysis plays a massive part in this battle, and that kind of pissed me off. So obviously Pikachu is now faster again, which... Just defeated the whole purpose of our poor Scatterbug to start with. The suicide lead. And there you go. Got a max damage there from the Pikachu. And a poor Bunnelby was gone. So we are two down already. And we're sending out Eevee. I didn't want to sacrifice the rest of my Pokemon. With the adaptability on Eevee, I thought this will go nicely. We should be able to take it out here. Which we do. But Pikachu gets the static off again. Now, I was really, really annoyed when this happened. Obviously, it's not, it's not Elijah's fault at all. That's the Pokemon, but this is when the game is 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 pretty much changed, twisted on its head. We have got Bird Jesus on the field, goes straight for the Twister, and Eevee gets the paralysis. Now, I at this point I was kind of fucked, especially when I saw Pidgeot had fly. Now, this was the big issue here. Stab power on that damage is it's just pretty much done. So I swapped Eevee out and we put in our next Pokemon, which was a Fletchling. Hope I was hoping that Fletchling would be able to take this. Now you will see straight away that Fletchling. Fletchling does 21, but Pidgeot, being a lot faster, being a lot stronger, takes out that poor Fletchling who just came in for death fodder, pretty much. And I was kind of screwed here. I really wished that Pidgeot had come in later on in the field because... That was it, pretty much. We just got flying on the go, and uh, not much can be done. Little routes goes for a psychic because I totally, totally misclicked. I really meant to go for Cam Mind there and fucked it up. But we bring back in Eevee to see if little Eevee can do anything. Obviously, the paralysis is going to be a massive issue here, so I was kind of just sacking off Eevee to be honest. Maybe getting a little tail whip or something in there, but doesn't matter. Bird Jesus Pidgeot was just far too powerful. Look at its beautiful, majestic hair flowing as Eevee bites the dust. So. I'm going to be sending back in routes because I'm pretty much down on Pokemon. It's pretty much just over. So, Pidgeot goes for Fly again and we try and set up with a Cam Mind. My, my thinking here was, if, if little routes can hold on, then maybe, maybe just we can go for a Psychic. It was kind of just a hope and a prayer, really, that, that Fly missed because it's not a 100% accuracy move, but... One hit KO'd, little routes just couldn't take the hit. Even even if the routes did take the hit, Bird Jesus would have outsped, so we were pretty much fucked. So we just got Scyther in. I thought the best way to do this is quick attack. And look at that almighty 5% damage there. It was pretty much done. I really couldn't do anything. Pidgeot. Pidgeot was just too strong. Pidgeot was far too powerful here, and uh, we're just going to Leer. Uh, the Leer is going to lower the defences a little bit more, and then we're just going to finish off with a quick attack, and that's all I can pretty much do. That is it, really. Honestly, I really wish Elijah had used um, his other Pokemon first. It would have been a lot... It would have made the battle a lot longer. It would have made it a little bit better, because obviously you've got a third evolution tier there. The, the Pokemon Bird Jesus Pidgeot... It's just going to sweep. It's going to sweep level 1 Pokemon because we didn't even get to see the Dratini. We didn't get to see the the Fletchling or Amolga. We didn't get to see any of those Pokemon. We only got to see two of his Pokemon. Yes, we took out Pikachu, which got a lot of hacks on its side. It really did with the, the paralysis. Now, I'm not complaining. It's the, it's the way it goes. It's the way it goes. If I had got Pidgeot, I would have won that game. It, it's, it's completely different. All it takes is one Pokemon off the Wonder Trade system, and you will sweep. You will sweep. And as I promised before, that win or lose, the battle will be going on the channel because it's, it's all about learning experience. It's about giving something back to you guys. It's not about showing how good competitively I am, and it, it's obviously improved my skill as time goes on but there you go guys Elijah absolutely swept the floor with me with his Pidgeot and I'm not complaining at all about the way he played he plays the way he wants to play and I encourage you guys to do the same if you have an ultimate Pokemon like that on your team something that has been traded over the Wonder Trade system then use it use it totally use it I'm not asking you to um, to, to come in because one day one day I promise you guys I'm going to get an absolute bitch in Pokemon and I will be using that probably towards the end of the battle because I want to see um, I want to give the, the opportunity for a good fight unfortunately that wasn't the best fight and because I just got absolutely ruined on, on Elijah's side he was probably cheesing with a 5-0 win um, but that's the way it goes. So yes, as I said, please go and check out Elijah's channel. Um, what's his uh, time at Ruler? He um, he does uh, 
and various different things on his channels as well. But as before, guys, please drop your Twitter link and your friend code in the comments section below. Obviously, talk about the battle if you want to talk about the battle. But I will be selecting the next battle very, very shortly, probably sometime early Monday morning UK time. So make sure you have got your friend code and your Twitter in this video and even in the, the previous video, the Wonder Trades Addictions video, where you saw these Pokemon get selected because I what I do is I randomly pick somebody from both videos and then I flip a coin, uh, heads or tails, uh, to choose who it is. So basically, you could get the chance of b becoming the winner in both what videos, and then obviously you, you've got a higher opportunity of getting to battle me. But there you go, guys. There is another battle, the second one. I am zero for two so far. Let's hope in the next video I will get the win. But once again, I just want to thank 4th Gen Gamer for um, giving us the new layout. He went ahead and edited for me um, the previous layout, because I know a couple of you said you would really like to see my Pokemon's HP. So that has been sorted out, so now it's down in the, the bottom right-hand corner as well so we get the the hp even though it probably didn't really matter in this video but either way guys i hope you enjoyed today's video please show it the love that you showed in the last uh, video if you enjoyed today's battle and if you're not already subscribed please go ahead and do that i will see you on wednesday for the wonder trade addictions video where you will be seeing what pokemon i will be fighting with next saturday so a week today so get your calendars tuned in get your phone set to alarm because that video is going to be coming out seven o'clock uh, uk time which is what five hours difference eastern time so just make sure you're there all right then guys if you've enjoyed today's battle as i said drop a like if you're not already subscribed go ahead and do that and remember to drop your friend code and your twitter in the box below and i will see you soon i've been rasbowski you've been the wonderful bastards as always for watching and i love each and every single one goodbye